one way or the other, um, if we want to balance, the land trust person is going to be on. We might as well set it forth and let, and let everybody know from the get-go that that's how it's going to be, rather than uh, uh, disguise things and, uh, and have some subterfuge. Thank you. Councillor Reid? I just um, had a comment, and that is, Michael, the question that you didn't write down or answer was, <laughs> what happens if there are no volunteers from the Planning Board and the Conservation Commission? And the reason I raised that is uh, we do not have an overwhelming um, number of applications for those two boards. And perhaps it's because uh, the current workload of the existing boards are sufficient to uh, uh, you know, for the people. And I, I just think that we ought to have a backup plan, and that is uh, if, you know, no one from, a, from conservation or planning board uh, feel inclined, then that becomes an at-large person. But I would feel much better if that window were open. <coughs> I've received indications from the Conservation Commission, you know, back when this first came, before you that they were very much interested in a number of members were very much interested in participating. Uh, also at the time, you know, the issue with the planning board was this was a, you know, a real good committee who was going to get to serve on it. Uh, there was a lot of interest. Uh, you know, the planning board since then has gone through the Zork process with the council <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's been, a, a, you know, really has taken a tremendous amount of dedication. My assumption is that there's still would be one or two board members interested, but I don't know the Zork process. Uh, it took a lot of dedication. Councillor Cogsell, you had your hand up previously. Well, I have a feeling that Councillor um, Groff is following up on something the manager said. Okay. So Councillor Groff to him. Fine. Everything that the manager said is fine and consistent with simply having a statement in here that if, in fact, nobody is willing to serve, then the appointments. Uh, a committee would would uh, through that process appoint someone so we get the best best of both worlds we assure that this committee will go forward but at the same time uh, the people that are designated uh, certainly can be on if they want to be on we're just protecting ourselves and not allowing one group to keep this committee from being formed which could theoretically happen thank you council Cogsell. Yes, I'll make a motion that we um, establish this committee with the um, changes suggested by <coughs> Councillor Reed that it says designate one member each uh, from the Conservation Commission Cape Elizabeth Planning Board, that there be a representative from the Cape Elizabeth Land Trust, and adding another sentence that there being no interested party from the Conservation Commission or Planning Board that space will or be Or Land fit. Trust. Or land. What? Or, land. or land trust. Or land trust um, that the other slot would be filled through the appointments committee process. And that makes the next to last sentence say the remaining two members shall be appointed by the council through the appointments committee rather than right. three. And it's leaving two councillors. Two councillors. Two councillors. I right. second that. Thank you. Discussion? Move the question. Thank you. All those in favor? 7 0. Thank you. I know what. what? Item number 107 is a request to hold a public hearing on potential PACS funding of reconstruction of Fowler Road from its two ends, two intersections with Route 77. <laughs> Mr. McGovern. Yeah, this is Fowler Road from the town center down to Sprague Hall. Uh, the council earlier had authorized us to submit an application uh, for a number of projects, uh, the road coming up into the center of town, and one of them was to do a reclamation of Fowler Road. Uh, the state crew that comes out and looks look at these things, I call them the clipboard crew, they all come out with their clipboards and write a lot of notes down instead, instead of... Uh, Re reclaiming Fowler Road that it really ought to be reconstructed. They came out with an unbelievable estimate of $2,525,000. Uh, 
of which they would fund 70 percent and the community would fund 30 percent. Quite frankly, I think the estimate is very high because this is a, a standard state estimate for, for cost in, you know, they look at it one way, either an urban type reconstruction, which is the granite curbing and all, you know, the highfalutin sidewalks and the rest of it. Or, McGovern, do not editorialize. or it's the, the, this will be an editorial, the rape of the earth that they do Jesus. sometimes when they go through these rural areas. And I think Cape Elizabeth can find a nice, happy uh, reconstruction that meets the character of this community that, you know, involves a whole lot of citizen participation. So, you know, that estimate is, is high, way high. And, uh, it's nice that these things are recorded so that, that I can go on record saying that. Uh, as you can see, you know, it seems a little premature. I don't even think they're going to fund it. But nonetheless, uh, MDOT wants to know by January 31 whether or not you want this submitted to the state. I think prior to you doing that, you really ought to uh, here begin to begin a dialogue with the folks on that road uh, to let them know it's coming. And then, uh, you know, if, you know, unless you object to the next meeting, uh, what we would do follow up the first meeting with, with an ongoing process with those citizens so that we don't get into another shore road, two lights road, and that, you know, whatever happens there is in keeping with the community and keeping with the citizens' expectations and the, the safety needs of the, the road. Thank you. Councillor McGinty? Um, if this does get funded, potentially this work would not be done until the year 2001? Probably, yeah. And just last year, in our budget document, we, we put $160,000 in our budget to start work out there. I made a point of driving over that road again today. I often drive it, particularly out near the Sprague, uh, Sprague Hall end of it. And it's in pretty bad shape. And I'm, although I hate to turn down taking our tax money back from the government, I'm wondering if we can wait that long on this project. Mr. McGovern? Yeah, I very much share that concern. And you know, what, we'd, what we'd need to do is go in and do some shimming, which is a short-term solution where you, where you take whether curvature of the road is, is it the same as the tires that pass over it. What we would do is uh, simply shim that to create a better riding surface. But it's a, it's, you know, it's a two, three-year solution. It's not a permanent one. You see that down in a lot of country roads. It's not pretty. It's not what we're accustomed to in terms of the, the way we'd like to have roads, but it does protect our interest for really getting a decent road with decent drainage uh, under drains and, you know, one that will meet the long-term needs and we'll have to go. But, you know, if this was reconstructed, we wouldn't have to touch it for 25 years. I, I share your concern, Councillor. Councillor Groff. If I understand the recommendation is to put it to a public hearing on December 11th, is that right? Yes, sir. Uh, my only concern is how many public hearings are we having on December 11th? And we'll Six. No. Too many. And it just seems to me that if January. can't we move this to January and just spread them out a little bit? That's fine. When do they when do they need to hear about this? He doesn't. Uh, January 31. Okay. So this could have first dibs for January public hearing. Certainly. What do you want to do with that? Mm. Councilor Jordan. Yeah, I agree with Councilor McGraw. But I also want to commend the manager on his statements that he used early there. I, I think they were excellent. I would just like to say that I would think, I would hope some thought would be put into this road that it, as he said, reconstructed it as a country, country road, that maybe some shifting of the travel way one way or the other so you could come up with a walking or a bike area on one side or the other. I think that could work if there's some thought put in to start with while it's being done. Thank you. Councilor Cogsell. Um, in this consideration, are we going to be dealing with stormwater detention basins? I know there's a very serious drainage problem there where all the runoff goes directly into Great Pond with all the salt <coughs> and all the sand. And, and during and the recommendation from the Conservation Commission and, and the white paper from the, the Zork Committee um, said that a major source of pollution probably other than septic systems is the runoff from the roads. So are those part of the 
overall plan for the reconstruction? Yeah. Obviously, a project this size, you need DEP <coughs> permits. And one of the major things they look at, are, you know, where's the stormwater going? It's a, it's a. So that's a yes. Yeah, what the solution may be, I don't know. But, you know, definitely all that needs to be studied and looked at. Thank you, Councilor Now. Yes, I'm just thinking, having, <coughs> having uh, served in, in PACs, it'd be, I think our chances are better the sooner we get this sort of in the pipeline. And uh, I, I don't, I, mean, I could be wrong, I don't see this being as controversial as Shore Road issue. So I think I'd be tempted to, tr to go ahead and include it in December. It was up to me. I don't think it'll take that long. Uh, and we can always <coughs> back out of it later if we want to. We've so far set four public hearings for December, by my count. Councillor Reid? I just wanted to remind um, Councillor Nell that we received written correspondence and phone calls regarding people along Fowler Road at the mere mention of putting sidewalks from Jewett Road uh, to the town center. Just thought I would Thank remind you. you. With granite curbing? No discussion of the curbing. For the, just for the Council's information, the January meeting will be January 13th. Do we have a motion? <laughs> Council McGinty? Can you I just want to make a comment before okay, the motion. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> just that I, I would hope that the town manager, I think we may be putting this off too far, but I'd like to see what it's going to cost, the interim cost to fix up the road hoping that we get this um, this PAX funding and if not what the proximate cost will be to do are we going to do a reconstruction or a reclamation if we don't get the funding so I'd like to see those figures so we can compare and and contrast and that's all I'll, I, I will support a motion to uh, I'll make a motion Thank to schedule a public hearing for um, a request to, to MDOT um, for a uh, for a grant to reconstruct the reconstruction of Fowler Road um, on January 13th, 1996, seven. at seven. 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 seven at seven thirty. 1997 at seven thirty. I'm sorry, 1997 at seven thirty. Thirty here at Town Hall. Seven thirty. Seven thirty here at Town Hall. Thank you. Second. We have seconds. Any further discussion? All those in favor? Seven zero. Thank you. <laughs> Item number one hundred eight is a request for authorization to apply for planning, apply to the planning board for site plan review of a seventy-two foot square, seventy-two square foot addition at the library entrance. Mr. McGovern. As you heard at your previous workshop. This is a very, very small addition. It actually isn't even 72 square feet, but some of that is reuse of existing space within the, underneath the existing overhang. Under the town center, uh, under the new zoning provisions, that in any addition of, of a building, municipal or otherwise, in the town center area needs uh, site plan approval uh, by the planning board. Uh, the, uh, you do have a letter here from the, uh, Bob Howe, who's been working on this project, what the estimate is for going through uh, this approval process for this. Uh, you know, it, it's just one of those things that, that does need to be done. Thank you. Comments or motion? Councilor Coxell? I move that we authorize um, the application to the Planning Board for Site Plan Review for the 72 square foot addition to the library entrance. Second. Thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor? Seven zero. Thank you. We have an item number 109, which is to go into executive session. Seeing no citizens in the audience, I will suspend the citizens' discussion of items not on the agenda. At the end of executive session, I do not expect any action to be taken. And I think this will be the end of our televised portion this evening. Any council comments before we try to go to executive session? 
I do want to um, announce that the council has a workshop scheduled for Monday, November 25th. The agenda items at this point for that workshop will be a discussion of progress on town council goals and a review of the status of an, a, a number of issues and projects um, that the manager follows for us. Is there anything else? No. Yeah, Mr. McGovern, I'll yeah, call you council. Two things. One, one is one of those issues would be uh, I just want to give the council an updated report on where we stand with compensation for fire department part-time pay. You may remember we had a workshop earlier in the year about that and I've had a dis brief discussion with the finance chair, but that will be one of the things on my list that, that we'll discuss. Second, I did want to mention publicly that we had a closing today uh, on the, the lot next to the library that's behind the dentist's office. Uh, there's a small lot that was previously authorized by the town council subject to the town attorney reviewing all the paperwork and all the provisions and all that. Uh, he did uh, confirm to me yesterday, I think, that everything was totally in order and fine, and we actually had the closing today. So we now do uh, own that property, and Public Works will be out there and going to mow it and just get it cleaned up for the winter. And uh, we'll uh, go on from there. Thank you very much. Councilor Jordan. I just wanted to pass on the lady that sat near that had the camera, and I think it was Wendy, yes. left oh, the case. Oh, camera bag. It's here. Oh, so if she happened to be watching, she knows where it might be. But Whoever it belongs to will be in the manager's office. Locked. 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 In the vault. Thank you. I won't touch it. <laughs> Thank you. Again, we'll thank our camera crew for this evening for their work, and we will see you next month. Thank you. Oh, we need a motion on item number 109, I'm sorry, which is a request to enter executive session to discuss land acquisition and or disposition and to discuss strategy for upcoming collective bargaining negotiations with the police association. So move. Second. Second. All those in favor? <laughs> Seven zero. Thank you. It's 10 of 10. We'll make the motion. Where are we going? I so moved. Who seconded? Up back. No. About three. Thank you. Take your pick.